I am just really hoping for some certain things. Like, at the end of the day, there are certain things that I want from this press conference, the, the Nintendo Direct, and there are certain things that I need. Or I, ex I don't want to say need. There are certain things that I want, and there are certain things that I expect, and I'm a little scared of what. Because what I want is Metroid Prime 4 news. What I want is for them to show more Splatoon 3 shit and to state, hey, the story mode of Splatoon 3 plays a lot more like Octo Expansion than the story mode of the last two games, because honestly, I think Octo Expansion is a much fucking better thing. But, at the end of the day, what I expect... Oh, and what I need is for them to announce both Smash characters. What I expect is them to announce one of the Smash characters, and it will be a fucking Fire Emblem character. I expect more Mario plus Rabbids. And I expect them to cancel Metroid Prime 4 to put Retro in control of a Fire Emblem game or something. And I would fucking cry. Yes, Xbox, I'm finally back for this thing. Watch as the Nintendo logo shows up and all of a sudden the screen goes black. Like, that's when the HDCP finally activates. And I'm just gonna go like, what the fuck? <laughs> I am hoping that I can be heard. And I am also hoping that, that it is nicely balanced with the actual E3 shit. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, Xbox, if you didn't just hear what I said, it was that what I want is Metroid Prime 4 news and... I don't know, maybe like a new Zelda game that's not Breath of the Wild. Like another top-down one. Because Link Between Worlds was such a fuck, uh, such a good game. A Link Between Worlds port to Switch. Just, just something. Remasters, kind of like Link's Awakening for the Oracle games in like one bundle. Uh, and I want them to announce both Smash characters, but what I expect is that they'll announce one Smash character and it will be a fucking Fire Emblem character. Or Rabid. Like, Konako straight up said, like, yesterday, what, last night, oh man, it's probably gonna be a rabbit, like, the, and I was just like, you know what, if it's the peach rabbit, I don't care. The peach rabbit is somehow, like, adorable and endearing to me, even though I fucking hate the idea of rabbits with an absolute passion, but I think in the end of the day, they should really just put Raymian in as a character and make the rabbits skins for the me gunner? Um, what I expect is for them to cancel Metroid Prime 4 live on the direct and say retro is going to make the new fire emblem or something i expect a lot of things and i want so much more but i don't see it happening <laughs> and that's what kind of pisses me off i'm scared i'm absolutely scared for what the fuck this nintendo direct is gonna be it is five minutes away and i'm scared shitless i don't i don't know what to what to look for i really don't i don't know for a fact what they're gonna do here all i know is that nintendo don't be so pessimistic i can't help it like I said, am I balanced Xbox? Is that okay? Are we good with the, uh... Can you hear them talk and me talk over them because what they're saying is fucking useless because they're not Nintendo? Cool, you can hear all the things. Excellent. Perfect. Dude, I don't know what this is gonna be. Is that with this one? The fact that I'm scared. I'm I'm actually truly scared. Because so far, this E3 has been such a fucking shit show. Like I I remember growing up and stuff, and E3 was when everybody announced all of the games. Games that you had no fucking idea were even coming out, you didn't know existed, they all got announced, and you were like, yo. 
but yesterday's the Capcom one was just so nothing. Here's four games that you already knew about, one that just didn't get port into America. The Intellivision one has been the one that has had the most impact on me so far. Intellivision! It was only 10 minutes long and it had the most impact. One, because it showed off a mediocre console. Two, yo, they're giving away like three or four Earthworm Jim posters. Three, the cool tech that they showed off. Like, honestly, two things from the Intellivision thing that really set me off were, one, the fact that you could buy gift cards, and then Intellivision is making a new console. Yeah, Tommy Tallarico, the, you know, the composer for Earthworm Jim, cousin of Steven Tyler, yada yada, blah blah, um, is now the CEO and president of Intellivision, and they're making an Intellivision Amico, and the controllers look like zooms. But like I said, they actually have really two things. That, they have two really cool things that they're doing for the console that I feel like if any other conference had announced it, it would be a much bigger deal. And that's one, that Intellivision has the ability for if you buy Intellivision gift cards, you can just tap them on the top of the console and it'll automatically load the gift card and all the money onto your account. You don't have to type in a code anymore. It's just like those new... Uh, debit card chips where you just touch them on the screen and they're fucking done. And television's doing that for gift cards and the touch and the scanner is going to be the actual console. Like, that's cool. If Nintendo had announced that, like, oh, you just tap a Nintendo gift card to the screen of your Switch, everybody would be talking about it more. And the other thing is that uh, in television, like, the games and the saves are somehow saved into your Zune controller. So if you bring your Zune controller over to a friend's house and they have an Intellivision Amico, the console has a dock for two controllers. You put your controller in one of the two slots and all of your games and shit are now accessible to you from their console that second until you leave their house. So if you bring your controller over, you are actively running over your entire uh, Intellivision library and going, yo, what do you want to play? And if Nin again, if Nintendo were to say something like that, oh, we have made the ability for Joy-Cons to store games and shit, so you bring your right Joy-Con and put it into your friend's Switch, and now your friend's Switch has access to all of your games and saves while it's there. And you can use your left Joy-Con to do the one Joy-Con controller thing, and you can all play fucking snippet clips or fucking smash together. Like, I think that would be really big. There are two really interesting pieces of tech. That I'm surprised have not been padded in yet. Uh, like, they, that they were not things in the past. But it's funny that of all people who are doing them, it's in television. Alright, let's do this. I'm watching streams so I can make sure this doesn't die when it switches over to Nintendo. Oh man, oh man. This might be good, this might be bad. Hey, it works! Oh man, release dates and other information might be subject to change. Let's do it! Smash is the first thing! Watch! Silux from Metroid Prime 4. Literally anybody. Anybody! Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'm yes. your guide as well. Are you going to show Doug Bowser this year, guys? It's now in its fifth year. And many people around the world are playing... Is the Switch? Oh, the god. Nintendo they confirm that they're only going to be talking talking about Switch software, so no Switch Pro is going to show up here. They will not be showing hardware, just software. 
not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. Nintendo, you have one job. Save E3, please. Please. Metroid Prime 4! Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games. No shit. We'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. Ooh, Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. Metroid Prime 4. Smash! This is Smash. Yep, not actual gameplay. This is Smash. What is it? Who's the next character? It's Ganondorf. It's a Breath of the Wild 2 character. No! No! That's Kazuma! Oh my god, it's Heiachi! It's a Tekken character! It's Heiachi because he throws Kazuma into the... Yep! No, it is Kazuma! Kazuya. <laughs> Holy shit! Why was I saying Kazuma? As soon as I saw like the 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 notion of carrying, I knew it was it was a fucking Tekken character, because they actually throws his fucking son into the volcano. I'm I'm okay with this. Holy sh holy shit! He plays like a fucking Tekken character with like infinite combo and shit. He's just gonna throw everybody in. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You know what's gonna happen, right? It's, oh, it's, it's... He's getting double gene shit going on. It's evil, yeah. It's Devil Kazuya. I am so okay with this, actually. This will make me play Smash Brothers. I don't play Smash. I, I the newest one just feels off, but this... Of course Hayachi was gonna be a thing. So his That's an interest holy shit. His uh classic mode, his adventure mode, has to be against people that are akin to Tekken characters, like King and Yoshimitsu. It just floats up. Watch. Yep. <laughs> Dude, of course the volcano is his stage, or is one of them. That's brilliant. That's good. That's a character I wanted to see. Yoshimitsu has to be a sword fighter. Kane has to be a fucking uh, a me brawler. For today, though, we've prepared a short video Nina moves in might be a, a, a me fighter skin. I'm so okay with us. Oh, this looks so good. This flash punch combo is just disgusting. They're even playing the Tekken music, which means this might be DMC Day or some shit, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll just work around it and see what happens. I mean... I'm really upset that Twitch Gaming is not streaming this, so that way, you know, the copyrighted music kind of dies, but whatever. It's, I guess, at the end of the day, I'll just be sued by Nintendo or whoever the fuck makes Tekken. Bandai Namco? Bandai Namco does Tekken, right? Oh god, Tekken 8 will be at the Bandai Namco. That's why they're doing Bandai Namco's thing after the Nintendo Treehouse, aren't they? It's because of this. I'm, I'm actually so so okay with us. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future. I like Tekken three. We still have to record it first, actually. The air date is shown below. Please stay tuned. Okay. Okay, I'll watch that. I won't stream it, but I'll watch it. Hell yeah. The question is, are they going to show the other character? Because we're supposed to get the last two characters this year. And I feel like they need to also announce the second character. At least it's not a... F so the, f the second to last character of Smash is a fucking crossover. It's something that we wanted a crossover with. That's nice. 
Your choices matter in these emotional supernatural tales. Is this um This is not what I thought it was. I thought this was the game where you're stuck on an island and you're teenagers and shit. Is this Life is Strange? This is not. What is this? This is Life is Strange. This has to be. Yeah! How did I see the spiked fucking bracelet and go, yep, that's definitely Ashley Birch's character. Cool, we have announced Life is Strange is coming to the Switch. Can it be in that style? They're, they're cute as anime. Well, that Life is Strange ended. No, we're getting a third one. This is footage of the third one. The power is empathy. Manipulating and stealing people's emotions. And to solve your brother's death. I have not played two, but one is one is fantastic. And it actually has two like completely different endings. Metroid Prime Four. Oh my fucking god! Leading a legendary band of heroes for hire in this thrilling action adventure game. We showed it off at the Square Enix panel, but we're gonna show it off again. Uh, you know what? As long as Cosmo is is here, who cares? Oh my God. Show something new, please. Show something new. You started off with really good. You're, you're now getting lackluster. Okay. A new Worms game. Worms is always fun. This doesn't seem like it's turn-based like the other worm games. This seems like a straight-up free-for-all. I don't know how I feel. The whole point is that it's a turn-based strategy. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. Interesting. The fantastical realm of Lord Cannon awaits. What is this? As you explore this fully hand-painted world, you'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks and captivating turn-based combat. Yeah! Yeah! I'll take this. This looks good. This reminds me of a Vanillaware game. Return to the funny, charming, and quirky world of Two Point County. I don't know what that is. Wait, is this the hospital game? You'll build and run your very own university the way you want it. Sure. Creative tools are at your disposal to make Here, have Sims College. Educational empire to the next level. Enrollment for Two Point Campus. I mean, so far the Kazuya thing has been the biggest thing to fucking E3 besides Stranger in Paradise, at least to me. A beloved series rolls into its 20th. Donkey Kong. Is it no 20th anniversary Donkey Kong Country? No. Oh! oh! Okay, Super Monkey Ball. Are you? I mean, I guess they were GameCube games. What are you confirming? Are they coming to Switch or are you reconfirming what we already know that there's a third one coming, like an actual third one, not you know? The silly ones. Banana Mania. These are all games we already had. <laughs> okay, so we are confirming that there will be a Super Monkey Ball HD remake <laughs> remaster for uh Go bananas when Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania rolls onto Nintendo Switch October 5th. I'm okay with that! I'm actually really okay with that. It's a blast from parties pass, and you're invited. Mario Party 2. Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Oh. Oh. On five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era. Fuck yeah. And Space Land. Fuck yeah. I'll take this. Zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say zany, we... Two was the best one, so we're kind of remaking it. 
Yeah, I'll, I will happily take this. In hilarious over the top mini games, all of which support button controls. That's awesome. Mini games from the Mario Party series catalog, you'll have a blast in this all star fun fest. Oh my god, this. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, online play is supported. I'm. I. God, this might. This might be a thing that has to happen. This. This is good. Playing a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid game. Grab a snack. Oh my god. Then resume the festivities. This is fantastic. So far. Yeah, Nintendo has already fucking solved the problem. And the fact of the matter is, I never hear anybody talk about Super Mario Party because I've heard it so bad. That's the only thing I've heard about it. So the fact that they've just decided we're making a new Mario Party game and it's a good one. Yeah? Yeah? We're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, yes! Metroid Prime 4, which we previously announced. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! What? Post-fusion. Post-fusion. <gasps> Wait a minute. Metroid Dread, call it Dread, call it Dread. Oh my god. Oh my god! I... I... Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 it's real, it, it exists, it... Oh my god, it's still 2D side-scrolling, I love you, oh my god. Oh my god, I, I've already seen bits of, like, fusion and goddamn shit in this. This looks great. Oh. Yes! Oh my god, you're keeping the name! Oh my god, I love you guys! God, that is a name I have thought about, but I've not heard actual news about since, like, 2008. Holy shit! <gasps> There's fucking running and dashing? Are you kidding me? Was that a Chozo? Did I just see a fucking Chozo? There's stealth mechanics. There's wall climbing. Not wall jumping, actual wall climbing. This almost looks like we're going back to Talon 4. When does this come out? When does this come out? See it on Treehouse, fuck you. Hell yeah, I will. Oh my god. HOLY SHIT! That October?! For the first new 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years. The brand new Guys, I don't care what the fuck we're- This is like Neo, Neo The World Ends With You and Axiom Verge 2. I don't give a fuck what you Patreon people uh, want. I- This is a day one start streaming. Oh my god, it'll get pushed back. It's absolutely gonna get pushed back. I am buying those- I don't care what money I have, I am getting those fucking amigos. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh my god, this is already the best. This is already the fucking best E3 announcement ever. Hopefully it will get pushed back. Xbox, go fuck yourself! Don't even. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not. I... No. Oh my god, I this is this is the best E3 ever. Nintendo has has shot this so fucking through the roof. Just means they make it better. You know what, Xbox? I God, I don't I, I have been waiting years upon years upon years. They're making a new cruising game? What? I haven't played a cruising since USA. What there there's an alicorn, okay. 
and hit the road. There are the trucks from the fucking Excite Bike one. Okay, so the DMCA has started. Woo! It's the ultimate Dragon Ball. Ah, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is coming to the Switch. Yep. Relive the story of Goku and other Z fighters. I mean, I I could have seen this happening. I actually wanted to try this game. Because it's a Cyber Connect game, and I like Cyber Connect, you know, Sarah's Wrath, the good Naruto games, all that shit. So. And, I mean, it goes all the way up to the Cell Saga, so. Now that I don't love Boo. Oh, it does go to Boo. Cool. I love Boo. Boo's like my favorite villain, but I also accept that Cell should have been the ending because it's the pass of the torch from Goku to Gohan, so. It, it works either way. And I find it funny that there's also a fucking driving mini game because, hey, come on. There's that one filler episode where Piccolo and Goku learn to drive, so we made that into a level. I love that. That's it, it's really funny. It's people who like Dragon Ball making a Dragon Ball game. Two new Metroid games. Oh my god, I just I can't. I've been complaining for the longest time that we just keep getting interquel after interquel. There's nothing post fusion, so to see a Metroid Prime, to see a Metroid Five. And then it's still dread. Take your time to read the I. On the greens. It's a good thing that I finished the good place again last night and sobbed my eyes out last night because otherwise I might be crying right now. I. I I just oh my god and this also looks really good. I gotta be honest, the only Mario I've played like two Mario Golf games, but I really didn't play the second one. I played Tools Tool Tour on the GameCube, and I've played a little bit of the Game Boy Advance one, which I was not the biggest fan of. This one, this one looks really fucking fun, and I am really excited for it. I'm not joking, I want to play this. And here's some news. Updates are planned for future release. That's awesome. And that's awesome. That's that's fucking new Donk City. Excellent. So set your tea time and get ready to ace those oh my god, I want to play as Rosalina. She looks so good as a golfer. It looks so funny. I can't. I, I just. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Metroid Prime. Uh, Metroid Five. Just. Ready for the ride of a lifetime. Oh my god, really. Welcome yes, Monster Hunter Hybrid Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. We saw this yesterday at the Capcom thing. This is like the only the thing they really the showed. We made Monster Hunter into a turn-based RPG. I guess at the end of the day, like, my brain goes, ha ha, they turned it into a turn-based RPG, but they also turned Yakuza into a turn-based RPG, and people love Like a Dragon, so... I, uh... I'll give it a shot. I mean, Monster Hunter Rise... Nah, not hot, Rise. Monster Hunter World was, like, the first Monster Hunter I actually liked, and I actually enjoyed Rise, even though I got, like, a few months ago... And I'm only on like three star missions for both multiplayer and single player. But as a person who likes turn based RPGs, and the fact that the Palicos look even cuter because it's like cel shaded anime style, I, no joke, will, I want to give this game a shot. If there's, yeah, I'll download the demo. Absolutely. I will give the demo a shot. Shut the fuck up! Wait a minute, is this WarioWare or is this Wario Land? Because one I want and the other I don't. It's WarioWare. It's not Wario Land. I mean... I'm not saying WarioWare is bad. But I'm saying that Wario Land Shake It was such a fucking fantastic game that they should make a sequel to it or port it or something. It looks interesting enough, though. Like, at the end of the day, this actually looks 
really interesting and different. Okay! Two player mini games. I think that's a first. Okay! Yeah! Yeah! That's a good title. Get it together. That's that's a really fucking good title. Dude, I I believed in Nintendo, and this blows it out of the park. Why did you just post furry butt in my chat? Also, why is there an emote that's furry butt? We are already we are only thirty minutes into this, and it is already so much more than all of the other press conferences put together. I feel. What universe do I exist in? Please take a look at this. It's it's gonna be Zelda. Watch. Or it's gonna be I'm gonna say or it's gonna be Mario plus Rapids, but school student living in Tokyo. What is this? Fairly normal. Persona? No! No no no! It's it's darker. This is Shimigame Tensei, isn't it? This is Shimigame Tensei six. I assume this is actually Shin Megami Tensei 3 because I've never played 3 so I don't know what 3 actually looks like but this feels like it should be 6 or 5 or whatever the fuck the newest one would be. I mean 4 was on the 3DS, right? Yeah, this is Shin Megami. All I'm gonna say is there's a post-apocalypse and I know it's Shin Megami Tensei. I used to watch Cinematech on fucking G4, and I saw the trailer for one of the other Shimagame games. Okay, so it is five. Yeah, I also want to play this! Okay! Yeah! I'm... What the fuck they called the character pro tag? This direct is three hours long? No, 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 no. So the direct is an hour, I assume. The next couple hours after that is more information on shit that they showed off. They always do the treehouse. The treehouse is always like the aftermath, the epilogue of the of a Nintendo Direct, and it's always like here's more info on the shit we showed off. Like confirming whether or not Samus has a fucking pet robo dog. Oh my. Metroid, Metroid Dread's real. <gasps> Metroid Dread is actually real. I, I cannot believe I live in a world where Metroid Prime 4 and Metroid Prime exist. I am so fucking glad I did not, like, kill myself last year. <laughs> Nintendo just gave me a reason to continue to live. This is great. Another demon can be created. New Warrior Wear actually looks really good. Shin Megami Tensei 5 looks pretty good. Two new Metroid games? Fuck yes. A collection of every fucking uh, game from the Super Monkey Ball series. Including the DS one, which is actually really good, but like with actual real controls. Fuck yeah! Kazuya in Smash? Fuck yeah! Dude, this E3 is. Nintendo is blowing this so fucking out of the park, it is disturbing. One of these announcements would have topped everything that has been at E3 this year so far. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future. I cannot believe Shimigami Tensei is real. Let's see a few more. I cannot believe Metroid is real. Zelda. Celebrate ten years of Danganronpa. Isn't it already on the Switch? Isn't it? Testing, testing, mic check, one, two! This is a test of the school broadcasting system! Love you, Monokuma. Decadence. Oh, so it's gonna have Ultra Despair Girls, I assume. Or, no, it has V3! 
self-proclaimed school okay you and other high school students also the spare girl still not getting that love also nice to see you toxy how are you the only way out of the school and v3 is the only one i haven't played yet the other students and so it begins but the other games are so fucking good I also played the demo for, uh, World End Club. Pretty legit. I, I fucking miss game. Did I just see that V3 has the ability that when you look at Truth Bullets, you actually get in the bottom right corner a description of what the Truth Bullet actually means? Because holy shat. What? What do you mean? It's its own game now. Who's the strongest of them all? The weird RPG gotcha game board game thing? Oh my god, this is great. How are you doing, sweetie? Uh, Metroid 5 just got announced, so I have a reason to continue to live. Oh my god, absolutely, this is great. Fatal Frame! Hey, we're playing two for the fucking channel! Oh, this is the fucking one from the Wii U! I think. I think this is one that already came out. Um... I, I'm streaming it. I'm fucking, I just got told Nintendo says no to streams, and it's like, fuck you, they say no to streams. I'm saying it right fucking now. I'm streaming it. I'm also Googling right now which one Made in a Blackwater is, because I swear to God that's the Wii U one. Made in a Blackwater is the Wii U one, so they're putting the Wii U one to fucking Switch, because nobody bought the Wii U, even though it's actually a really good console. Okay, good to know. Soon. Okay. Today. Some even today. Doom Eternal. Okay. Your war is not over. Why are you showing Ancient Gods Part 1? Ancient Gods Part 2 came out. Well, Doom is over. If you look up the plot for Doom Eternal Ancient Gods Part 2, it's... Uh, Doom's done. There's not really much you can do with the entire rest of the series. It is a pretty fucking solid ending, too. How is it not on the Switch already? Hey, the good Tony Hawk game. After two... Three duds. If you count the fucking game on the, the phone. I just remember that there's a phone game. I, I forced myself to remember there's a phone game. And that Robomoto did it, because of course Robomoto did it. I want this game so bad. Venice Beach looks great. I had two on the PC. Same with Spider-Man, the one with Monster Arc. What is this? Oh, isn't this... Isn't this a 360 game? Huh. I knew nothing about this game. Now that I actually see what it is, this actually seems like a really interesting game. You know that Nintendo, at like the end of this, has to announce one crazy thing, right? And considering that they blew their load already with Metroid Prime, with Metroid Prime 4 is still in development, Metroid 5 with a trailer. Kazuya from Tekken and Smash. What is the last thing of the direct going to be? They also confirmed Shin Megami Tensei 5. And Danganronpa. All of them are coming to Switch. I'm gonna have to buy V3 on Switch. I'll play it on the fucking mobile. So what? What is the last thing gonna be? It's gonna be Breath of the Wild 2. So aim for victory. With a little help from your friends. No, it can't be. If Metroid was the halfway point, fucking, there's no way. Well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one there's no way. 
They're gonna end it with Nintendo condoms. I would actually be so okay with that. It's a me! Fuck on my ass! Orange Star Nation is under attack. Is this? Is this Advance Wars? What? Oh! We're porting the GBA We're 3 Dean the GBA game. Okay. I've actually never played these games. I know that they're just a more sci-fi fire emblem. I, yeah, I, I'd be willing to try this. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, Nintendo is the only place that they can announce that Mega Man Legacy Collection for Battle Network is a thing because they were all GBA games except for like the few ones that were DS and the awful one that was GameCube, but network transmission can't hurt me anymore. What the hell is happening? What is Nintendo? This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. Okay. Please take a look. Last announcement. Okay. This is Hyrule Warriors news. Yeah, Age of Calamity. What's the? Ex you're actually gonna tell us what the expansion pass is, since you told us nothing. Oh, it's a guardian. Oh, you get. Wait, can you play guardians in that game? I have not played that game. That's a cool weapon! Holy shit, that's a cool weapon! Link just stole a fucking dude's sword and is beating ass with it! What is happening? A person just used Choo Choo's as a fucking weapon! There's the motorcycle from the Breath of the Wild DLC! Wave 1 Pulse of the Ancients, available in like three days. New challenges, no idea what that means. Uh, new, uh, newly added challenging enemies. New characters, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I need to play this game. Just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC. I need to play this game. expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Even though from what I've heard, this game actually completely retcons Breath of the Wild like it sets up a new timeline. Which means Breath of the Wild 2 will have Age of Calamity, Age of Calamity not canon. No one cares! Skyward Sword was a bad game! Port Wind Waker again! Wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button only control. Port Link Between Worlds! Or the GBA version of Link to the Past, that way we can play uh, Four Swords. Port Four Swords Adventures! These will all be unraveled in this game. Fuck Skyward Sword! <laughs> I'm sorry, am I going too far? Next up. What? Here's a little something you might like. Game and Watch? This is a Game and Watch system that lets you Holy play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. This Zelda One, Zelda Two. Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. Zelda Two. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned. It can play three. Zelda 1, Zelda 2, what's the last one gonna be? To help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on that the is fucking awesome. Zelda. I miss Game & Watches so much. The first game in the series, the Legend of Zelda. Yep, Zelda 2, who would have guessed? What's the third one? Oh, okay, yeah! Yeah! As well as a special version of the Game & Watch title, Vermin, starring... Fuck yeah! Character. So that's four games on one... Real talk, can I get some love for Oracle of Ages and Seasons? Can those please get fucking The Link's Awakening treatment? 
In addition, regarding the watch please. for the Game and Watch system, we can we please? The Legend of Zelda. That's adorable. An timer themed after Zelda II, the Adventure of Link. That is adorable. I like the clock. By taking control of Link. That is that is really fucking clever and cute. We hope you'll enjoy playing this game and watch system. Whenever I will. It's probably like ninety dollars, but I want it. All right. Here's the last thing we have to show you. Breath of the Wild Two. Is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Two years have passed yeah. since we first announced this game. This also means that they they just refuse to However, even talk about the Oracle games. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please Which sucks, because the Oracle games are so god tier. I think I like the Oracle games more than I like Link's Awakening. At the very least, Oracle of Seasons is fantastic. It just has some problems. Specifically, the seventh dungeon. Fuck Juju's belly. Also, I love that the ending of Breath of the Wild. What the fuck is happening? Why? I was about to say, why are you showing off Skyward Sword shit? No, this is Breath of the Wild too. What the hell? Phoebe's a little confused now. Also, Link is now a cyborg. <laughs> I can't not- That is cool. Alright, everybody. We have to play the music from this trailer backwards. Probably some fucking Zelda song that we know and love. Real talk, wasn't the whole point of Calamity Ganon that it permanently kills- Like, if you kill it, you permanently kill Ganon? Isn't Ganon supposed to be- done why does this game exist like not that i'm complaining that the game exists i'm just saying that from a plot point didn't breath of the wild 2 kind of end on like a yo we fucking killed a ganon in a permanent way so what did you think this time around the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above hyrule because I mean, what what's it called? Wind Waker has a pretty fucking definitive ending. He's not a statue underneath the goddamn ocean. Who's gonna go down there? Who's gonna be able to go down there? Continuing development on a number of other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. I am so fucking happy. I am so fucking happy. This this was perfect. This was the this was the E three presentation that I needed this entire time. Capcom's was such a fucking piece of shit. And television was somehow better than Capcom's, which is fucking disgusting. Ubisoft was so fucking nothing. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America. And I'm here with Nate Bildor, who leads our this. As you know, this was the E3 presentation I needed. experiences that deliver surprises and smiles. And I have to say, I found myself smiling through that entire presentation. Thinking about how I have chills. I actually have chills. I have goosebumps right now. This is amazing. Nate, that last clip. I uh so many questions. I don't I don't even know what to say. Um we will probably be ending the stream here, by the way, so I can try to figure out how to get around DMC music and post this on YouTube and fucking 90 other things under the sun and probably write or something. I'll probably just end up playing goddamn Final Fantasy XIV, to be honest. Um, including a litter box that has no litter in it, which is fucking fantastic because nobody wants to buy a litter. Mario Golf Super Rush launches in just a few weeks on June the 20th. Metroid Prime 5 exists. Uh, Metroid 5 exists. Shimagami Tensei 5 looks great. A new WarioWare looks, looks great. I'd still like a new Wario Land. And I like uh, my, my r roommate, the one that's doing horror games with me, Ash. Uh, had like a fever dream, like news was announced, and I could not find the news anywhere. 
that the next Wario Land game was going to be a crossover with Shantae. And, I mean, honestly, after playing Pirate's Curse and Half Genie Hero, I would be so fucking okay with that. That just means they have to actually make a new Wario Land game. <laughs> I still think they should port Shake It to the Switch. I think it shouldn't be a Wii exclusive anymore because nobody's giving it love anymore. Oh, I can stream for a little bit more, Toxio. But people are going to come home soon for lunch, so... I just, I cannot believe... No, I think I'll end here. Still, fucking Kazuya... Shin Megami Tensei 5, oh, Danganronpa's getting huge ports, which means they'll be mobile again, like they haven't been since... You know what? I have to stay for this! This is too important in my life. This is way too important in my life to not be part of this. God, I cannot believe they kept the name Metroid Dread after 20 or some crazy fucking years. Development history. We started back like a little bit after Retro Fusion. It was supposed to come out for the DS and then we dropped that shit like a fucking hemorrhoid. <laughs> We stopped developing back on the fucking DS and we haven't looked back since, but we're keeping the fucking name. I grew up with goddamn Super Metroid, so this, this is my shit. First news story in 19 years. Can you fucking believe that? They ended the series initially at a point where she just killed the last Metroids, supposedly. She is herself the last, like recess of DNA for Metroids and for Chozos. And she had now, if you count, like, the Prime Games and other M, she has fucked the Galactic Federation twice over. And so they are kind of in pissy. Well, the story is important. Okay, we're confirming! And I just saw Chozo hieroglyphics and shit, which means this might actually be the return of the Chozos and finding out where the fuck they've been for. Se That's the X-Parasite. That's her fucking fusion suit where she act that that isn't her suit. That's her goddamn skin. She's now Metroid DNA. That looks like a Luminae. Which are the people from, uh, from Ether in Prime 2. And they were like one of the four top races in the universe, along with Chozos. Yeah, we know it came, it first came 15 years ago and you dropped that shit. <laughs> Well, it's good that we've hit a fucking point. Where you actually have the ability to make this fucking game that I've been waiting for 15 fucking years. And I've only the other two games I had been waiting for for 15 fucking years got announced at the Ubisoft and the Capcom ones. Man, it would have been really nice if I had seen Beyond Good and Evil 2 and A Beautiful Joe 3. It would have been really fucking exciting. Also, how is she going to lose all of her powers in this game? You have to start from scratch. How is she going to lose her abilities? It looks like a new power suit. Good. I'm glad you fucking surpassed it. <laughs> I'm glad this is a thing. The fact that a Chozo power suit, it's, yep, okay, it's Galactic Federation, we're fighting, we're fighting the Galactic Federation. Because they're shits. This, this is, so what we have learned is that they took Metroid Zero Mission, the last half of the game, or last 
25%. And, uh, they realized people actually liked having stealth sections in their Metroid game. We only got it, like, one or two times in Fusion, but in Zero Mission, it was, like, a full fucking thing. Ah, oh, my cat is shitting next to me. A little bit over to my right. In a fucking litter box with, like, no litter. You have a cloaking system. Oh my god. So yeah, the, the fact that they're reintroducing stealth, I'm really fucking excited. Hey! Stop that, you little bastard. There you go. Mr. Kitty's being a little shit. After ta taking a shit. Also, I just saw the fucking evil Cheerios, which means the Galactic Federation just took space pirate weaponry and put it into their shit. Because those were the evil Cheerios when you fight Mother Brain, so. That's good to know. Glad the Galactic Federations are being a bunch of fucking cunts. Again. Yes, I know. I'm so glad they kept the multi-directional shooting. That is that looks so good. I have not played Samus Returns, but I played AM2R. I know that's evil to say. If anybody wants a copy of AM2R, I still have it. Oh my god. Oh my god! So you kept the cool shit from Fusion, too. Holy fuck! Oh, oh my god. I... I... Guys, I'm actually starting to tear up. You, you, you do, you do not understand. I can't. I... I can't. Fifteen years waiting, Mr. Kitty, for a fucking... <laughs> for this. And I... I just... Thanks, Nakamura-san. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I am super excited about this next segment that we're going to delve into an early work in progress version. I bet you all just heard Mr. Kitty. Samus and new moves in action, and also I think get to a little bit of the uh, way the game I... is this uh, suspense and tension that... Um, and it's October. So I'm joined by... Uh, it comes in in October. And Teresa's going to take us into... The Supposedly, CD October. Yeah. How long has this been in development secretly? How long have they been hiding this? So we're going to backtrack just a little bit to show Samus' free movement here. I guess it makes sense that the blocks now say what weapon destroys them because it would be Galactic Federation shit. Yeah. A lot of the, the area around as you use it. I, I, I'm so glad the free aim came back. That was the coolest thing about Prime Return, Samus Returns. I just, I didn't have a 3DS at that point. I had like 100% of the rhythm, so I, and, and Curtain Call, so I kind of got rid of it. <laughs> He is now on my lap. He will probably start screaming or something soon. We have at most 10 minutes left. God, look at that blob creature. I guess the only thing I can say is that this doesn't look like a Switch game. This does look like a 3DS game. But that just means they have months to, like... Reconfirm the textures and stuff. Come back. Because some of the textures, like on the enemies and stuff, like Samus looks fantastic. I really love that because 
the monsters could, like that blob creature that she just killed could look a little better, but you have a few months to like re-render and shit, it's fine. I... This is a day one buy. This is, this is a day one stream. This is... I've been waiting for fucking 15 years for this game. Rotaria. If an area in the map is blank, it indicates a hidden item there. You just made 100% so much easier and I fucking love you. Oh my god. That's awesome. Good. Global map. Show show the map. Show the map. Show the map. Show like the full map. There's a fucking 100%. Look at the top. It says items 0%. Oh my god. Oh, markers exist. That was my favorite part of Hollow Knight. Yeah, and this area here is blinking white because there is a something here that I haven't discovered yet. Um, so I can use markers to kind of pinpoint it just in case I don't have an ability. The fact that like you don't even have to use the markers because the fact that the fucking map blinks. If you have like a 97% completion, just start running around the fucking world. And in every room, check the map and be like, oh, this room's blinking now that I'm in. Oh my god, that is. That looked amazing. And it's a new door. Yeah, one, another thing I want to pinpoint is the amount of work the dev team put in in Samus's animations. I can see the fucking work. Her jump looks fantastic. That's the iconic spin I've been fucking waiting to see for years. Oh my god. This cutscene looks fantastic. Cutscenes in a numbered Metroid game. And you know what? It looks great. Yes, Mr. Kitty, this looks fucking god tier. Out that window, I'll hit you. I'll throw a nickel bolas at you. What? Okay, this is terrifying, by the way. Because think about this. Power suits have been... Chozo... Chozo shit. Chozo tech and weaponry has been like the staple of the series. The power suit. And the power suit has always been like this extremely powerful thing. But I guess, I guess after I just realized this is not the power suit. I'm only just now realizing that this is not the power suit. She lost the Chozo power suit in fusion. It became the Saax. This is a new suit. This might not be Chozo Tech. Which would perfectly explain why it's doing nothing to Galactic Federation robots. It wouldn't be powerful enough. The iconic power suit would be ripping through these fucking robots like butter. Also, that gun looks god tier. Transform the arm cannon to the Omega Cannon. What the fuck is this game? In typical 2D Metroid fashion, you've always seen the camera hand around here. Now with the... I just, I can't. This is, this is too good. Oh my god. Press Y while still holding R to fire. So charge and shoot. That I'm not sure about. Why are charge and shoot do different buttons? Unless, like, you can press Y. I'm going to assume that if you hold Y, you, like, rapid fire. But if you hold R and then press Y, you do the charge shot. Mr. Kitty, shut the fuck up! Oh, it's a one and done. 
Right. So it's stealth section or defeat the stealth section. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice balance. That's a save room. That's 100% a save room. Also, that is a... Those are those are statues of a race I don't fucking know. To say Metroid is a lot like uh, Stargate, where there are four races that are like the first races in the universe, and the practically the Galactic Guardians. Like in Stargate, it was the Asgard, and it was like three other things. Here, I'm not sure. Also, I have to end the stream now. So, I... Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is perfect. I I will see you all later. I'll see you all on Thursday for more uh, a Gravity Rush, probably. Um, look at this fucking game. <laughs> this game is... This game is everything I wanted and fucking more. I... I can't. I can't. You can hear in the background, the music is so Have a good rest of your day, everybody. Really I'm gonna go cry in a corner and very, very, I, I am, be ecstatic that this exists. <laughs>